Housing.com. Well, I've been in Chestertown, Maryland for a few days now. I sailed up from uh, Rock Hall and had a great sail. It was beautiful fall foliage. I'd only planned on spending a day or two in Chestertown, but I found there were so many things to see and do, the history, the shops, the restaurants. I wound up being here for four days. Why don't you come back in time with me and I'll show you the cruise up and some of the things there are to see and do in Chestertown and why you should put this on your come visit list, whether it's by boat or by car. It's a great time. Well, my friends Lee and Cindy, who live in Chestertown, were able to come along for the ride and help keep me company. About an hour and a half into the trip, though, we had to lower the sails as the wind died and the current was against us. But we still had a great time, and the scenery is magnificent. Now, the river is wide. There are some narrow areas, so it's wise to keep your charts out, but it is well marked and plenty of interesting sights along the way. Shortly after clearing Devil's Reach, we came around the bend and could see Chestertown. City Marina will be undergoing major renovations with expansion, dredging, and state-of-the-art concrete floating piers. We got an up-close look at the Sultana. After docking, I walked up to the Visitors Association to get a little bit of information on the town and then headed to the famous farmer and artisan market. It was a great day. The sun was shining, beautiful fall foliage, plenty of vendors. The farmer's market is worth the trip all by itself. And then when you consider all of the other wonderful sites and things to do, restaurants and entertainment and weekly activities and special events. It's no wonder Chestertown is so popular. How are you? Good, I'm doing good. It's a this pleasure. Is, it's a great little farmer's market here. Well, this, is, this is a great farmer's market. Um, it's actually, it was recently voted the number one farmer's market in the state of Maryland. In all of Maryland. In all of Maryland. And they pulled, over the course of a year, several of these research firms went to different farmer's markets throughout the country. And this was rated number seven in the United States. In number Chestertown. One in, Maryland. in Chestertown, Maryland, yes sir. The diversity of the products, um, the quality of the products, mm -hmm. organic produce, the homemade goods. And the sidewalks are all hand laid brick or stamped brick. It really gives it a colonial feel. It's really a neat little town. And there's a memorial park to all of the wars. And there are so many restaurants and shops and antique markets and specialty shops. I couldn't list them here. You'll need to check their website to get them all. And for restaurants from casual dining Gourmet dining, specialty bread shop, it's more than a bread shop, it's got a little bit of everything. Sandwiches and espressos, it's a great location. And then there are places that have Bloody Mary bars on the weekends. And of course the history. With over 24 historic buildings in town, you can take the walking tour and explore some of our great history here in Chestertown. And look at how beautiful the walk is. And Washington College, which was founded in 1782. Or you can just sit and relax and overlook the water. And there's a lot of specialty events throughout the year. There's the Tea Party reenactment, dinghy race, of course Downrigger weekend is big with the tall ships and wooden boat festival, it lasts a whole weekend. 
and there are many other projects that the Sultana projects do. Again, I'd recommend visiting their website, find out everything. And then on first Fridays, they're the Art Walk, where many of the art studios are open and offer refreshment and beverages. There's the River Walk, the uh, Rails to Trails Path. Chestertown is also part of the Captain John Smith Waterway Trail. And there's four Civil War trails in Kent County. And on this memorial marker, which faces north and south, on the north side is listed those who died in the Civil War fighting for the north, and on the south, those who died fighting for the south. And it's interesting to see that many of the names are the same. Family fighting family. And now I've just touched the tip of all the things there are to see and do in Chestertown. And from this short video you can see why even four days I couldn't get it all accomplished. I hope you'll have time to come and visit Chestertown and enjoy the southern hospitality. Until next time, happy and safe boating to you, your family, and friends.